cons um, and what have you. So, um, but I was I was very pleased that you know Polly Plattenberg, the DOT commissioner, spoke very favorably about it. Um, Mitch Pally from Long Island spoke favorably about it. I did. Ira did. Um, so several folks really did. However, we me and the staff had a discussion about Freedom Ticket, and we, we have a revised proposal that we're going to submit to the chairman, um, which does not involve um, Penn Station, which would strictly be um, an Atlantic Terminal um, pilot program. We think that's much easier to manage. It won't be affected by anything that's happening under the East River, and there, are, there was just an amazing amount of, of capacity on the train serving the Atlantic branch there. Um, and we just think that's great. This, Stewart. Is this something you shared with uh, Sister Kathy? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. Iris, Iris, no, Iris, up on it. Absolutely. Ira, but what about the rest of the world? You know, you know how they feel about. I do, but Iris, Ira was very favorably in and spoke yeah, about freedom. They, they, this they would be, don't always agree with Ira. Well, they would be le they would be less less inclined to oppose this. I would think. There's yeah. plenty. Of is there staff. any way that you can Send out this new proposal to all of us? Um, we're still ironing it out at the moment. Well, when, well, finish, when we finish, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You may recall that the original Freedom Ticket proposal included Rosedale, Laurelton, Locust Manor, St. Albans, mm -hmm. Queens Village, and Hollis. The current proposal would not include Queens Village and Hollis. Um, but first of all, they're not in Southeast Queens, but second of all, those trains frequently end up in Penn. Um, a lot of the trains from the, the first group of stations I mentioned do actually go to Atlantic Terminal. So I just there's a lot of reasons why that might be a much more manageable pilot to start off freedom ticket with. Deborah. In reference to this, the ver the from New York City our our version from OPWDD, the New York City Department of Mental Health and Mental Hygiene voted and is included in the government plan for two years because especially for the southeast queens that feeds into brooklyn we have a lot of what we call direct care professionals that have to travel between uh, families and if they the freedom ticket was intact they would be able to get there faster okay. so you do have support from the, dis the development of disability council for queens and brooklyn and the new and the city for have that. they put that in writing at all Yes. yes. Oh, did you yes, send it to I, Bill or anybody? Yeah. I gave it to him already. Oh, okay. I, I haven't seen that, but that's great. Yeah. No, no, it's a direct factory. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 No, I've been crazed the last. So no, that, the that's great. Remember, we sent, I told you we, we were there, and I sent you when they put it in. Yeah. And let me just add that during the um, Bushwick Viaduct construction, having another way to travel through Brooklyn, I. You know, buy a freedom ticket. I think would be a would be a great and timely addition. Yeah, I would love uh, it because I could get back and forth from plus, Bro from Brooklyn to Jamaica in 20 minutes. After or the less. new fares it's take good. effect, mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. able to offer riders something that makes mm -hmm. their commute easier and could make it cheaper if you are buying both a metro card and a Long Island fare, I think would be a win-win for the MTA too. So there's a few reasons why we're gonna we're gonna make a push for uh, April or May. Um, the the Bluing Bushwick uh, construction and the fact that folks have just been hit with a with a fare hike of one of one form or another, which we will get into. So it is it, now it's something that it, it can pass by board approval. Yes, it can. Yes. And we're, we're making presentations to various board members. We have been, and we will continue to do that to, to get them up to running, up and running. Yeah, cool. Um, trying to get through this board. I'm trying to go past the second, but you mentioned freedom ticket. It's more good just to come into the ball game. Uh, as you know, for our president, Eric Adams, is supporting this. Once you have this document, I know he's going to be hugging. Well, it's certainly always included Atlantic Terminal. Yeah. Well, no. No, and we had a conversation. With them. And, uh, and to let them know. Yeah. yeah, and then the Queens, mm -hmm. um, as well as the Queens DC Council and the Borough President of Queens, they're already supporting this, and now this is making more. Is the Borough President of Queens supporting this? Yes. 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 No. Yes. Um, yes. yes. She's, she's being what? She has well, not come out. She's, she's she's not, not, she told us, but you know what? We'll push our heart. We have to have a no statement. And there was. 
and it certainly is a okay. big meeting to get Well, we'll do what we can. Okay, that'd be great. Because we do know about it uh, too, but we will, well, we're trying to get the Queen's people who have agreed to put pressure on her. Yeah. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the last thing is, you may have seen in print, but I am really, really pushing for a revision to the A train route. Um, I really, after helping three groups of tourists out, the past two weekends, who were about to get on the wrong A. Yeah, Not only would it be a very tourist-friendly thing for all A's to yeah. serve JFK Airport, Howard Beach JFK Airport, but I don't understand why citizens of Rockaway Park, Bell Harbor, and Neponset are considered second-class citizens are relegated to only a shuttle train service. I don't get that at all. I know that the folks who use Leopards don't want an all-local train, which the extension of the sea would mean, but you, gosh, you'd have to ride three stops if you could get on either A there. I mean, I just, I just think it would be a very, very friendly thing to do. Right. So I'm, I'm still pushing that. Um, I've been told they will look at it. Um, I know that there are some impediments, but I noticed that during this past summer, the Rockaway Park Beach Shuttle didn't just start at Broad Channel. It started at 96th Street Rockaway Boulevard. So if you know if they think it's that important in the summer, how about the residents who are, who, who use that line year round? I know that there are five through trains in the rush hour that serve Rockaway Park. Six or six, and they they actually begin at 59th Street. So sure they don't begin at 7th Street. But um, I just don't know why those folks are second class citizens. I really don't. They're used to it. Well, because they're going to the yard, yeah. That's out there. They do begin at 59th. Yes, Jason. Oh, Andrew, I told you about the Queen's Park Bridge. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the point that this is the lowest Fahrenheit that the MTA has submitted uh, for approval in a very long time. That is true. That, that doesn't lessen the pain for some folks, obviously, but um, the 30-day pass continues to be by far the best deal. Um, interestingly, if when they showed this pie chart, um, I don't know that they'll read the pie chart. They don't have, the, the third this, I had didn't have that. This yeah. pie chart shows what income levels are using what fair media. And the, the seven and 30 day pass are by far the most used um, by most folks. The bonus Metro card however, is the second most used by all, by both upper income and lower income groups. That being the case, the, the proposal for raising the base fare to $3 sounds, oh my god, the, the fare is going to $3. Since less than 2% of riders in every category are actually paying the base fare, that is a psychological barrier, but if you look at the bonus, which is currently, if you buy a round trip, 11% um, uh, um, will be going to 16% under the scenario where the base fare gets raised. On the other hand, where the base fare does not get raised, the bonus drops from 11% to um, 5%. So your ability to get free rides rises with the rising of the base fare, even though virtually nobody, or you know, maybe you forgot your metro car that day, is actually or paying. Tourists. Yeah. Or tourists. Yeah, but to yeah. even tourists have, have well, started buying that. But what's the 325? The bonus, for, what? What's the 325? That's, that's on that single uh, yeah. single ride ticket, you know, where, you, where you're not getting a transfer, you're paying cash, that, that business. The paper ticket. So paper ticket. Paper one trip yeah, if you look at the very last line on the, on, on the first page, you can see that the, the, the no fare increase, the no base fare increase, plan A, actually caught, it actually has a higher cost per ride if you use a bonus metro card. Three uh, cents. And the $3 one. Yes. Three so it is a psychological ride. barrier, no doubt about it. But if you ride a lot, if you buy a monthly, a weekly, or the bonus ticket, you're actually probably, depending on how many times you ride, you're probably better off with the $3 base fare than you might be with keeping the All base fare. All fares are going up, including the temporary reduced fare. No fares. When the base fare goes up, the reduced fare. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, um, yes, go ahead. I mean, anyway, it's a as an entity, agree that we support these. Uh, uh, we support the phase, every other phase, year, that's right, rather than the, what they just did right. in New Jersey okay. Transit and what happened under Governor Pataki, which was eight years without a fair hike and then a massive fair hike. So isn't the question that we should be asking? Yeah, so we support oh, something, okay. but it says in this narrative that they've achieved nearly 1.8 billion in the annual savings. Okay. So the original intent of these increases was to do something and achieve something. Uh, are we achieving what they intended with the last increase? And really, maybe that should be our guide to yeah. where we're going. Yeah. Because I think we all agree in the past that this is more congratulatory. But in terms of how uh, steep it is or how the discounted is, I think we have to answer that other question. I can't answer that. I cannot answer that other question. Most importantly, Stuart, once again, these increases come with no service cuts, but rather with service improvements. If you look at if you look at page eleven of this of this handout, the one with the, <coughs> the, the financial plan handout, yeah. it shows what their what their what their saving what their savings targets are and what their what they're achieving. So far, so that that could, that may be something of an answer to what you're asking. Uh, question: Yes, uh, if we do choose, but it, let's say they voted A, the board votes A, that means the base fare say two seventy five, the half fare gets down thirty five. Now, if we choose B, let's say you guys, the board does choose B, how much is half fare will be cost? That'll be the half fare will go fifteen cents again. 
Yeah. If the fare goes up to three dollars, it will be about yeah, three. Yeah. But the one thing that's been right that we gotta try to remind that we can't go up anymore because the half fare there's some you know, it's hard for people. To well, they made a point of, of, of saying and they gave the uh, financial plan through twenty nineteen. They are relying on every other year fare increases. In previous years, they have done, well, at one point it was a 7.5% yield, then it went to a 4% uh, yield. Now it is a 4% increase over two years, not a 4% yield. And they, they have a target of savings that the, that the chief financial officer keeps hammering that they have to continue to do. Of course, this is the year that the TWU uh, well, shortly, that the, the uh, Local 100's uh, contract is up for renewal. They're not submitting three zeros again. They're submitting, you know, two percent uh, basis to begin with. So, you know, there are there are rising costs. There there are additional services being offered. Uh, there is Second Avenue Subway. There is, uh, in, in, you know, now this W is restored. Uh, they are doing what they call platform adjustments, if which don't require. Major. So, well, Andrew, and I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that's wrong. What I'm concerned is, 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 I think Plan A might work a little better because the monthly, the passes, as you know, it does. A lot of the peak passengers I've seen are always using their monthly or the weekly more. But the base fare going to 275 is, you know, some people are going to get concerned. You mean going to three? Where it you is. mean going to three? Yeah, instead yeah. of going to three, because then they have to get, instead of a uh, quarter and a dime out, they're going to have to get two quarters out. I'm talking about the half fare. Right. The, the only people, people, yeah, the only people that are going to be, that, that are that are going to be worse off under the plan B are people who pay in cash. Exactly. Yeah. So, and so, accessorite, so. because, you know, accessorite has to yeah. pay. Yeah, accessorite would be, yeah, it would be, it would be $3, no, dollars for each, and we go up yeah. a quarter, and we go up a quarter. I, I did notice on television last night, I think it was channel 1055 was doing a poll, uh, they asked, for, not, not a surprise, do you find service improves after fare hikes? And, you know, I think 95% said no and 5% said yes, uh, which was interesting. Does the decrease plan A and plan B is does one result in more net Gain to the is, 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 it's very the exact close, same. very close, yes. It's the, oh, well, very close, but which one is uh, you know, they, they didn't say, but they uh, said it's virtually indistinguishable. It's, in, it's indistinguishable, yeah. Yeah. Uh, psychologically. There the idea of a 25 percent, which is the way it was reported, 25 cent, 25 cent Wish. raise, the way it was reported is that everybody doesn't realize. That most of them don't do not pay to seventy five, and unless there is a really big communications campaign, I'm going back to my old days when we used to have to do this, you know, increasing the fare from a dollar to a dollar fifteen or something. But whatever it is, unless that is comes across, there is going to be a rebellion against. I public. raised that very issue, and um, and. and the chairman and the chief financial officer said, we, we have to do a much better job, and we will do a better job, letting people know which of these is best meets their needs, depending on how often they ride. And, and but they already heard it in the news reports from yesterday. No, 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 the not the news reports. In other words, but that's what I'm talking about. No. A public relations campaign is not just advertising. No, no. It's also they, we, we, we are pushing for something on the MTA's website which says, I ride this number of times not this frequently. on the MTA's website. Uh, so, the many, so many people do not go on their website. On their they website. go, I am talking about putting out press releases, notifications, whatever, <coughs> that make that clear. Doing it on the website doesn't mean no, nobody goes there. There's nothing. People do they're not. They're going to do a broad, they claim they're going to do a broad outreach. Um, you know, well, they better do it because I, who knew what we had said, was that, oh my God, they're going back on their word that there's going to go up 25 cents. This was me, the way I reacted until I read the fine print. So I, I'm just I, telling you, ask somebody who handled communications yep. here, 
and sometimes it's done well, and sometimes they it's admit not. They could do it and much better. Do, but they better do it now, because otherwise it's going to be a whole thing. I also, I also oh, said Please put that in the minutes, and absolutely. we will pass that on. Or should I call uh, who is handling it? Is this what I understand? No. It's still there. But no, that's, but this is what I'm handling. This. Yeah. 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 Ye
proposals is because the alternative is a fair hike without service cuts is painful but we understand the need for it a fair hike with service improvements is probably a benefit to everybody yes do it why uh, haven't they tried to eliminate the paper hydro and it's coming and, fo no, no, and focus on pushing people to buy metro cars whether they be you know paperized it, it is or ridiculous those machines it's a waste i'm sorry i agree with Stuart. Right, so, but they 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 probably they, they probably they make a lot of given that the machines are there they probably make money on them because it costs a uh, metro card costs about a dime. A regular plastic metro card mm -hmm. costs about a dime, and they charge a lot more. A dollar. Huh? There's a dollar surcharge. For yeah. Well, no. Well, you. It, the, yes, yes, but I mean, the paper one costs a dollar. Cost cost a quarter more. Uh, basically, you pay a quarter over over the cash fare. For right, but if you're a tourist, and you can do, I don't want to. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I don't want to belabor. They probably do. They probably do actually make money on it. So that's why they don't. So, yeah. Andrew, yes. Uh, and I know we have to run out. Uh, the main question is, is because we have these public hearings coming up. Yes. What do you want us to do as TRC members representing? Uh, we, because you know, every year you, when we do a public hearing, you ask us to represent TRC. Speak. Yes. Uh, we should be discussing that also. So here's the schedule. Oh, you have this. You publish it's, it's, it's in oh, yeah. oh, okay. On the third page of, I'm okay. starting on the third page of the just handout. It starts on the fifth uh, of, of December. Chris, so we should all submit our campaign slogans to uh, Andrew. You know, it's a fair thing. You know. Yeah, like <laughs> catchy short things. Yeah, probably stay away from fair What was the one you just said? The, I mean, we need to have a unified voice. Yeah. And I think the direction that I'm hearing that's is that there's the consensus case. in Plan B, provided the message is appropriate. So we all have ideas. Alan knows how to synthesize them. And I think we should all give us a deadline. Yes. And, and, and send in emails if you're thinking of good, you right. know, things to capture. Yes, so can everybody. And that uh, truly give us. Her professional communication skin. Yes, everybody uh, should come up I with. Will work, I, I, will, I, will I will work with our team. I'll work with yeah. the people. We'll all be a team. So but we will have, have a unified slogans, message out there. Send them on so we can include that in whatever we send out <laughs> to the media. Uh, since the public hearings are coming up, you know, Queens is uh, fifth. Queens is the Queens first, is the one. fifth one. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to skip my community board meeting to attend the Staten Island public hearing, but. The one that's in the Bronx is the same night as my transportation committee. I'm going to have to go to transportation, so I'm going to miss the Bronx hearing, unfortunately. Ah, Andrew, they're going to be upset with you. Ah, Andrew, they're going to be upset with you. Yeah, Tuesday the 13th. Tuesday the 13th. Oh, it's really. So, um, does anybody know yet which which they want to attend and speak at, or can people go to these? Does everybody see the schedule already? Since I'm representing Manhattan, I will speak at the Manhattan. Okay, okay so that's Thursday the, eight. Thursday the 8th. Thursday the 8th. That's is Thursday the 8th. Right now, so I have Not that we know of. <laughs> Not that we know of. December 19th. Actually, the Electoral College, I believe, meets that day, but since I am not going to be going to the Electoral College, no, no, and um, we don't have to actually speak at every one. I will certainly be there, so. I don't want to speak too much. I don't want to speak We should have the official person speak if we can. But we don't have an official person. So we should have somebody. So we need to do that. We should have to do it. The Bronx is an, Bronx is an issue because Paris all felt she didn't want to do it confusion between her role as uh, our president. president's yeah. staff member. Mm -hmm. So but we can find we can find somebody if we want to if we want to speak to the Bronx. Yeah. 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 Uh, can I can I can I I really I don't see why I'm at the if you don't like it the college box I I'm, I'm going to have to leave so early because I have a service man coming in. No, no, no. Um, so you want to, we'll, we'll work out in, on, on, 
uh, uh, online, uh, online, who is going to speak where? And, uh, yes, I am. But we're going, we're going for, we're going for Plan B, right? Um, and that that's, seems to be what most. That's what we have. That's the best for the greatest majority of people. I'm with, with the right spin. With the right spin. Yes, okay. there's folding brains. Where more is actually less. <laughs> Something like that. Yes, it really should show the. Uh, I don't know why they didn't. They had like, before. Uh, just sent me a saying, Repeat, tell them that, please. No, no, absolutely, that's going to come up. That makes perfect sense. Sure. And thanks to everybody for your input on this. Get your slogans and uh, your feelings right. into the to the office so we can incorporate them. The more the merrier. And uh, What's the we know who's speaking at Brooklyn and at Manhattan. So that's Brooklyn. Yes. Brooklyn. Just let me know you need me as an actual. Absolutely. When's the December meeting? Third Thursday, the 15th. Yeah, it's uh, December 1st is PCAC. PCAC is December 1st, yeah. I'll be no problem. But it may not be in this room. I don't care. I'll be here. I said I'll be here. I'm not going to do it. Right. We moved it because we set out. Thanks, everybody. Tuesday, yeah. I said I don't know. Again, that's like a minute's rest, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, right.